I strengthen my hair like I strengthen my body. I mean, ever since I started using hair tool in Unity, it's always been so easy to create hair and, you know, have it so strengthened. And obviously, this is Selena Gomez talking. Yes, very indeed. But hey, what's up, guys? It is your local family-friendly content creator here. And welcome back to the channel. And today, I am super excited to bring you guys a brand new episode of Asset Review in Unity, where we're going to be taking a look at the asset called Hair Tool. Now, guys, before we get started, I just want to quickly mention the fact that the the giveaway has now ended the one that we were running on the channel if you want to join for future giveaways make sure to join the discord channel in the d wow that was my phone disrespectful i'm trying to make a video here and you guys are notifying me on i guess twitter i don't know anyway like i'm saying make sure to join discord the links are in the description and in the pinned comments so make sure to join we're gonna host some giveaways there i got something up my sleeve like i usually say on this channel so uh yeah with that being said hope you enjoy your time let's get right into this video oh, yeah, sure. Alright, so before I get into legal issues, no, I am not sponsored by Pantene. But if you guys want to hit me up, I'm always down. But as I was saying, we're going to take a look at the asset called Hair Tool, which is a plugin for creating fully animated hair and cloth created by Shipak. Shpakvinia? I, I completely butchered that name and you can sue me if you want to. I'm deeply sorry, but Shpakvinia. That should be the correct one. There we go. The asset is located under Tools Physics in the asset store and it comes with a price tag of 75 bucks. And we're specifically going to talk about if this asset is actually worth this price tag. So just like I said before, it's primarily used for creating fully animated hair and cloth for your characters in your own games. And what's interesting is the fact that physics in this asset are implemented with a custom engine based on Verlet integration which I looked up it's pretty much Newton's equations of motion I know it's pretty fancy here and then it's completely executed on the GPU with compute shader which means that it's going to increase the performance of your game the fun part is the fact that you get to control and configure elasticity gravity drag and curveness in the editor directly which gives full customization for you the developer for creating any kind of hair you wish to they also react to colliders so they won't go inside the body of the character for example if you place like a sphere collider on the shoulder etc and we're gonna talk more about the features and also pros and cons especially but before that I just want to get into developer response which is pretty much the support on this asset so I see a great amount of replies on the asset store page reviews and there is also an active forum thread running for this asset created by the author which points to the fact that there is an active support for it and to strengthen that even more the asset was initially released in July 2016 and the current version is at 1.3.2 which was released 19th of this month. So the asset is still obviously being updated to fix compatibility issues that are potentially going to happen when Unity gets updated. We're now going to go through some pros and cons from my opinion, and then we're gonna get into what comes in the asset part, which is pretty much where we go through the asset together in Unity. But first and foremost, for the pros part, extremely easy to configure curliness and all the other features that are listed in the asset store page right from the inspector. So as soon as you get into Unity, it's super, super, Super easy and simple and also very obvious on how you actually edit the hair. I found it to be very performance rich as well and it very like feels very complete honestly. You just you just get what you literally ask for because if you really want to have like hair that is motion based and animated for your games you're literally getting it from this asset, so there is literally not so much more to talk about it. There is also a very good demonstration scene which allows you to have a better look at the product and see how it's set up. As soon as I got into Unity when I was trying this asset out for the first time ever, I went to the demo scene obviously to try it out and it was very obvious for me to see, oh okay, so I edit this from here and I edit that from here. And last but not least, it works very well with sphere colliders and blocks there from entering body parts. Like I said, if you have a sphere collider, on the shoulder of the character which you're probably gonna have to use because obviously you don't want the hair to kind of enter the shoulder then it's just simply going to block it and you can have it all over the place and wherever you want to block the hair from entering and pretty much just put a limit for the hair's movement and now for the cons part I like there's literally nothing for this because it's one of the most straightforward assets I've reviewed and covered in the series so far because it just feels very complete and as if you get what you ask for like I said it's it's as simple as that really because for 3d model assets or 3d model pack assets you can be like oh you should have you know included this kind of grass or whatever it could be like if you're that kind of grass person but with this asset it's like uh, do you want to create a hair for your game which is motion based and you want 
want curliness, you want all these features that are listed, fine, then get this asset and it's pretty much done. And some people might think of the price as a con, but I honestly think it's very, very complete for being an asset that is for this price range, like it's under 100 bucks. And for me, that's a very, very good price, honestly, because this, once again, it feels very complete. If you pick this up, I doubt you're gonna have to search for another hair engine or hair plugin for your game. All right, guys, so as you can see, we're now in Unity and we're gonna take a look at what you actually get when you open this asset up. So as you can see, we have the root folder here called GPU tools. And inside of this, we have a common folder where editor scripts, resources, and scripts rely. Uh, it's not going to be extremely interesting for you to check out unless you actually want to add your scripts to the game object, which you might want to do. So other than that, it's not really that interesting. But then we have the demo scene, which is a little bit more interesting IMO. Um, and inside of the hair folder, you actually have the scene itself here in the scenes folder too. And other than that, other than the scenes folder, you get the materials folder, which is also by use that is used by this demo scene itself. And then you get the models, which is pretty much this uh, figure itself. Then the prefabs, which is also this figure once again, and also the canvas that you can see from UI here on the top left corner. And you also have the scenes once again, and the scripts folder, which is pretty much where all the scripts that are used in the specific demonstration scene are located in. Then finally, you also have the textures, which is for the figure and also for the background and, and the icons for the UI in case you want to use them, etc. And you also have a common folder, which is pretty much just where the models, um, the text skin blend shapes, I guess, they rely. I didn't really check this out too much, but I don't think that it should be very interesting for you to check out unless you want to check out the animation itself. Um, even though this is just the animation for the, for the figure itself in the scene. And you also have the hair folder, which is where the scripts are relying for the specific hair script. So if you want to add a hair to your character, you obviously want to use this. And inside of this, you also have the editor folder, which is pretty much where the editor scripts are located in. Then you have extensions, resources, scripts, uh, once again, scripts, and then shaders and textures. And we also have physics folder which is where all the physics-based scripts rely in. So it, it's very organized with the script, which I really do like, because if I wanted to check out specifically for the physics and what actually has been you know, included in this equation that I was talking about earlier, I could check out this folder, which is very, very simple. All right, guys, so in conclusion, who would I recommend this asset to? Honestly, if you're creating any kind of game, really, and you're just feeling like, all right, I need a tool where I can simply create hair, animated and motion fully hair for my characters, etc you should check this asset out. And like I said before, this is one of the most straightforward assets I've ever covered because with 3D model packs, you can be like, yeah, this asset pack doesn't really include what I want. But this one is like, do you want hair? Do you want the hair to be animated and motioned? And you can edit all the, like you can configure and all the settings like curviness, etc., the elasticity, you know, the gravity. It's pretty much straightforward, you just grab this one. And for the price tag, I don't really think that it's a big problem. I didn't really have a big problem even though I grabbed this asset off pretty early, like when I was in the dev trying to make my own games as well. And I didn't really think that it was a big problem because once again, it was really straightforward. I needed hair for my game and I thought, okay, I'm gonna pick this up. And besides, it really just feels like a complete asset pack which you can use for creating motion the hair and animated hair for your games. It includes all the features that I wanted my game to include when I was creating the hair for my character. So I was like, yeah, sure thing. And now with that being said, guys, we're gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Asset Reviews in Unity. Hope you enjoyed your time and hope you found this helpful. And if you guys have any assets you would like me to review let us know in the comments down below we'll leave a comment with the asset link if it gets marked as spam by youtube i'll don't worry i'll unspam it or whatever it's called and um yeah i will also feature your comments if your asset gets picked so make sure to leave a comment and if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below it really shows some support on the video and also hit subscribe if you're new here to make sure you stay up to tune for this new type of content we have more assets reviews coming up more giveaways coming up for the community and also more tutorial videos and even speed level designs don't worry i'm gonna continue those now once again thank you so much for watching i'll either catch you in the comments or in the discord server see you guys bye bye oh,